page that our, our students study in school, it will never be close to us. Because you can't continue to deprive people of their basic livelihood and expect and to, to, to have peace. Peace will never come. It will be difficult for us to have peace in the Niger Delta, for instance, because the injustice in Niger Delta is, is just almost permanent. Gas flaring, 55%. Apart from the fact that the money that gets the derivation of 13% never gets anywhere to, uh, close to the people. people. In the north, the leaders, the governors are talking and thinking of 2015. The times they had power, what did they do with the power? The people are amongst the poorest in the world. Child mortality is amongst, over there is amongst the highest in the world. Mothers are dying at birth. Young people in the north, before five, they are dead. You can never ever have peace in a place like that until you are able to sort those forms of social injustice. Because without social justice, there would never ever be peace. Same thing again, yes. reverberating. Yes. No peace without justice. Mm -hmm. But let me come back to you. Uh, we're told that Peace Day provides an opportunity for individuals, organizations and nations to create practical acts of peace on this particular day. Can you please explain that to me? I don't understand. Well, madam, I too well, don't maybe understand. I should add I to understand. that. I understand. No, I should <laughs> add to that and ask that you personalize no. it. And I think there is a, a cliche or a saying or something that somebody has said, I can't remember who, that what you can do is what matters the most, not what the government or anybody else can do. What, if you personalize this issue of peace, what can you do? to bring about a tiny, a minuscule amount of peace into your own environment. Because if every single one I of us made, 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 yes. made an yes. effort. God bless you. Um, the school are about to resume in Lagos State. And uh, the first thing I did was to think about the school fees <laughs> so that the children would not lock me out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Madam will tell me that uh, this one has finished. This one has finished. We mm -hmm. don't have this, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't have the money, we sit down and discuss. How do we do it? How do we do not do it? It's not about saying go to hell. Mm -hmm. If I ask her to go to hell, she will go to hell and, and I will also go to you. hell. <laughs> she will take you. And she will carry your children. All of, us, all of us will go to hell. That is the implication. <laughs> you know, because um, if you discuss, you dialogue, and you dialogue from the depth of your heart, not you dialogue because you want uh, just to play, you know, uh, pranks. For instance, what our leaders do in this country. There's no way we can run away from our leader because I will, some of us have traveled and we have not found a society in the world that is as rich and good as Nigeria. America is a, is a, is, is a rentier state. It depends on, the, you know, the resources across the world. Nigeria is not depending on anybody's resources. But in spite of what the politicians and those in government have stolen, the resources have refused to finish. In the 80s, when we were in the university, uh, the former uh, military dictator, Ibrahim Babangida, said they have stolen and stolen and stolen, looted and looted and looted, plundered and plundered and plundered, but resources have refused. To, <laughs> I don't know the logic that is sustaining the economy of this country. It is because God has lavishly blessed this country. All we need is to get your men and women who are visionable, who are godly, and who are committed to use the resources, to organize them for the interests of the people. That is all. Uh, we are not asking... But you're personal now. Yes. Back to you. Yes. I'm, I'm saying actualize this, uh, situate it, personalize it, take ownership of it. You as an individual... What can you do to bring amount, about a small amount of peace? Because if you tell me what you can do, I can begin to look at it and say, uh, maybe I can do the same thing. I have told you already. Told you already. Okay, for me, yes. There's there's justice, the justice, you, there's, you <laughs> put justice on the table. Everybody <laughs> comes to discussion. The children will say what their own problem is. The mommy will say what her own problem is. And the dad will tell. No, we take. We also say what my own problem is, <laughs> and we sit on the table of discussion and amicably resolve what Each the problem is. Problem. Of course, if there's no means to carry all of them along, you tell them why you cannot. It's not a situation of saying I'm the father or I'm the head of the family. Then anything can happen. You cannot, because all of you, God has brought you together in that family, and you have to devise means of living peacefully. If I come out and say. Uh, Madam, go to hell. Uh, the other one, I, I don't have money for school fees. Of course.
course, I'm creating crisis. The children may not do anything, but they can cry and disturb my peace. And, and they can sure steal from the neighbor. Of course, <laughs> they can go run to the neighbor. To, mm -hmm. And so that is the situation that we apply so that our rulers will learn how to discuss with us, learn how to show. Because today, we we'll learn that they don't go to banks again. They have now built a uh, vault in their houses where they, stay, they stock our money. <laughs> so EFCC and other anti graft agencies must be looking at these people at their homes, not the banks. Okay. Because uh, we may not find anything in the bank. Okay. <laughs> Let's ask Kamojo your personal Okay, for me, yesterday, this. for instance, I only have one work going on in my life, and that's my work with a Nigerian airline. And yesterday I decided, as a day of peace, let me not say or do anything about it. So I left every platform where I used to have a go at them. So that was one practical <laughs> thing I did, because that's the only way. <laughs> but of course, I've resumed the work today. I'm back to asking for my iPad from Eric. But apart from that, I think we would always have problems as individuals. We would always have disagreements. But we have to understand certain basic things. President Clinton said something during his DNC address that even the clock is right two times in the day. So even the most clueless president might actually get some things right, at least by mistake. So we have to at least try and understand people from their own side of the story. And for civil societies, for instance, in terms of Nigeria, we should stop just saying, if the, if the government says this is PIB, it's not enough for us to say, we don't want your PIB. And then we'll have conferences all over the place, Abuja, Lagos, even go to London. We need to create our own documents. Uh, we need to create our own policy documents to say, this is what we want. And then we'll place it side by side with what the, what the government has. And then the whole world and everybody in, in Nigeria are able to look at what the better options are. It is not enough to keep talking and keep blabbing. We've been blabbing in this country for over 52 years. And if I count since 2014, that's about 98 years. 1914. Na 1914, sorry. We need to get something. We need to start acting what we believe. We need to start actually sitting down with these people that we think they are thieves. Obviously, a lot of them are thieves. We need to start sitting down, actually forget uh, the past and actually sit down. If we really love this country and we want it to change, shouting and noise making will never be enough. I've realized that. So we need to come to the table and discuss. There will be times when we might have to punch ourselves because there is time for everything, really. There is time to be nice and say, I need my iPad. And there is time to say, I need my iPad. I might have to just do some things right. So we, not, we just need to keep pushing and never stop pushing and not forget that when it comes to peace, there are certain things that have to be done. And we must never give up on Nigeria, for instance, and we must never give up on the the um, positive of peace okay. and happiness. In, in closing now, just I, I'd like to ask both of you, how much impact has Peace Day had on the lives of people around the world since 1982? I don't, I'm not aware of any impact, any positive impact it has uh, you know, had. Because look at this, it's not even so, about... So Peace Day is not worth anything? It's not worth anything. Oh dear. You saw what happened in, uh, in, uh, in the, the uh, Asian Spring last year. Egypt, Algeria, Libya, and all that, even though they killed one of the finest uh, uh, socialists uh, Africa has produced without justice. Because I, I am totally opposed to the attack against Muammar Gaddafi, a man who has provided everything for his people. As at the time he died, Nigerians were still trekking the, 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 the desert to go to Libya. And those who were provided with the facilities to come back to Nigeria said they preferred the worst situation in Libya than coming to Nigeria. So there was no reason for which anybody rose against him except for you know selfish interest of those who fought him now we saw even in europe as we are protesting in january here in, in belgium in ne the netherlands every country there was crisis okay people okay. were rising okay. and okay. so Jeffrey, do you think it's had any impact on anybody's life is the, it, the, the word has, peace, has day, peace day been worth it the word peace day is like nigeria's independence day they, they, they don't mean anything really because it's not about set, setting the day aside and say today is my birthday or today is our independence or today is what peace day. It's about the intent. What do you really do? You really want peace? Has it if affected really, anybody? It hasn't. Mind? It, it hasn't. It, it, may, it may yet do though. But as of today, twenty years after, it hasn't done anything. Well, I think we'll just leave it there for now on this very sour note. I might add, uh, International Peace Day, September twenty-first, and it's been that since nineteen. Uh, 82, the resolution having been taken by the UN in 1981. We were looking at that with um, the executive director of the Civil Liberties Organization, Mr. Ibuchuku Ezike, as Thank well you. as Mr. Japheth Omojua, who is a blogger.
Thank you very much for coming, it gentlemen. It's a pleasure, madam. Nice weekend. Sunrise will return with yet another interesting topic in just a moment. Please don't go away.